Hello guys and welcome to another Body Stenics tutorial. If you're new to our channel, be sure to start off by subscribing and hitting the bell icon for notifications so that way you don't miss any future videos just like this one. In today's tutorial, we're going to take you guys through our top 5 straight arm exercises in calisthenics. All these exercises are going to cover all body planes in calisthenics with a focus on strengthening the inner part of your arm, specifically the elbow tendons on the inner elbow region. as well as your shoulder tendons in and around the anterior deltoid region. The key with developing straight arm strength in calisthenics is to employ patience into your training. In addition, when it comes to straight arm training, less is more, meaning that you should never train straight arm exercises on a daily, on a daily basis back to back, seeing as they are tendons, take longer to recover than what our muscles do. So we advise in saying all of this that you train two to three times maximum per week, your straight arm exercises, and particularly the ones which we are about to show you. Without further ado, let's get into another epic body sthenics tutorial. The first exercise in our top five straight arm exercises in calisthenics is the wide plank. We consider this exercise one of the most basic, but yet one of the ultimate in developing straight arm strength. Ensure that every athlete, no matter what level you are at currently, that you begin at level one. This is so that your elbows gradually get used to remaining in a straight arm position and so that you avoid any potential possibility of injury. Once you get comfortable with that around a 15 to 20 second holding time at level one, feel free to move on to level two by gradually gripping the floor and sliding outwards with control. Once you are gradually over time able to get down towards the floor in level three, you have definitely now achieved a great level of straight arm strength. The second exercise in our top five is the straight arm dragonfly. This is the ultimate test of not only straight arm strength, but also entire body engagement. If you are able to maintain straight elbows in a full dragonfly position, you have definitely achieved a high level of strength in calisthenics. If you can already do dragonflies, begin this exercise by trying it in the half lay position first. If the half lay position is achievable, then feel free to move on to the full variation. Another advantage with this exercise is that a beginner in calisthenics can also train it. An athlete who is not yet able to do a single rep of dragonfly can begin with straight arm hip thrusts. The straight arm hip thrust is also challenging enough for any level athlete, let alone for a beginner. The recommended rep range for every progression before moving on to the next is six to 10 reps exception of the athlete who is still at the hip thrust level. If you can only do hip thrusts in a straight arm position, then we don't recommend you go straight into the straight arm dragonflies. Instead, work on your bent arm dragonflies first before trying the straight arm variations. The third exercise is the straddle straight arm press to handstand. This exercise is ultimate for testing your handstand straight arm strength. If you are not yet able to press in the concentric phase by maintaining straight arms, we recommend training this exercise in reverse from the top down by performing the straddle eccentric negative first. The key is to maintain straight arms and flex through the hip region and try to control your legs all the way down to the floor. So you can do two to three reps back to back with the eccentric, you are then ready to try your first rep beginning from the bottom and trying to press upwards. The third exercise is the front to back lever for reps. This exercise is super challenging as most athletes tend to bend their arms or flex their hips as they try to transition from one skill to the other. Maintaining straight arms, this forces you to engage your hips and glutes more and really hinge through the shoulders as you press through from the front to the back lever. You can also try this in a tuck variation if you are not yet at a half lay holding progression at this stage. Our final exercise in the top five are the ring support flies. The ring support flies also serve as a great activation or conditioning progression for the iron cross. Gradually try to go wider and wider each week you try this exercise. However, never at the expense of bending the elbows. It's always best to perform higher reps with a more narrower range and gradually try to increase your range going outwards over time. And finally, as a bonus, we have included one more exercise which is the handstand to tuck planche transition. This exercise is especially important for athletes who are wanting to achieve any planching hold variation in the future. 
Transitioning from handstand to planche with any progression of planche is fundamental in developing that shoulder and full body strength to later on being able to hold the planche progression of your choice. Key with this exercise, however, is to not fall down suddenly and always try to maintain a straight torso by flexing through the hips first and bringing the knees into the chest without allowing the hips to fall lower than the line of the shoulders as you enter the tuck planche. This exercise should be done with control and at no stage should you rush the movement. Movement. Thanks for watching today's tutorial, guys. If you guys found value, then be sure to subscribe and also hit that bell icon for notifications. We upload a new tutorial every Wednesday and Saturday at 3 p.m. European Easter Summer Time. For those athletes who want a more in depth approach to their calisthenics progress, be sure to get your own copy of the 100 Calisthenic Secrets book. And for an even more depth analysis on how you can progress, as an all-round calisthenics athlete, be sure to get access to our exclusive Ultimate Calisthenics course. And for those athletes who want to join the Bodysthenics global family of athletes who are taking their skills and strength to the next level, be sure to apply for online coaching today in order to fast track your progress and achieve elite calisthenics status. I'm George, Bodysthenics coach. See you guys in the next video.